hi guys welcome back to my channel in uh, in this tutorial of this week i'm going to show you how to make some exquisite poached pears in red wine they are absolutely incredible and we felt like we were in a proper five-star restaurant when we tasted it and they tasted incredible so I hope you guys are going to enjoy the video there are pictures on my Instagram account which is at Christina's Cuisine and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and tap that little bell because that way you get notifications every week when we put the videos up thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves until next time go back connect right so ingredients for the wine poached pears um, you're going to need a saucepan not very deep uh, not very big just so I'm going to have five pears but you want your pears I'll show you yeah to be you know with a bit of not a lot of jiggle room just a bit for them to be submerged in the wine when it's time we're going to peel them off but not just yet we're going to do that once the liquid has simmered so we will need um, you should put about uh, 100 grams of sugar I'm going to use honey instead because they are, they taste better um, the zest of a lemon or you can do the zest of an orange if you want not the whole um, the whole zest just just a bit of the zest uh, one cup of fruits Berries, preferably. Um, I got frozen berries here. Um, you can use fresh ones if you want as well. Uh, cinnamon stick. And I'm also going to add a bit of mixed spice just for the flavor. And, of course, um, half a cup of orange juice or you can use cranberry juice instead. And two cups of red wine. Now, the red wine um, should be not very expensive, but not very cheap. It should be a wine that you enjoy drinking. Yeah. And the first thing we're going to do is to simmer the wine. Your berries in the saucepan. The cinnamon stick. My spice. And, of course, yum, yum, the red wine. Two cups. One. Two. Yum. Okay. So we're going to let this simmer. And once that's done, we're going to take the fruits out. Okay guys, so it's simmering. I've added my honey while it was boiling. And now we're going to strain the fruits. We need a clean one. It's, it smells so divine. It smells like winter I love mold wine right with this I'm going to put our cinnamon stick back it's just this fruit we don't need but you can use this after if you want to keep it you can wine back I'm going to keep this for now right so cinnamon is in I've added the honey like I said we're going to zest a bit of lemon you can zest a bit of orange as well just for the flavor not all of it just a bit now it's enough 
Yeah. And now it's time for the juice. About a cup, half a cup. Time to peel the pears. Right, so it's bubbling. We're going to submerge the pears. Hold on, careful. They're going to be simmering on medium heat for about 25 minutes. But every five minutes, we're going to turn them so to make sure that they get the right color on all sides. So uh, stay tuned till the end. So um, I've stopped the fire underneath. They will gain color as they um, as they cool down. I will let them cool down now overnight in the fridge, and tomorrow the syrup will be a lot thicker. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow.